Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Pisces. And this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my angel tarot cards. And then I'll pull you a card for my energy oracle deck. So Pisces, I welcome you. I thank you all for stopping by. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I am so very grateful. Darlings, please take what resonates from these readings and leave what doesn't, okay, babies? Not every reading will be for you. And always remember, I give you these messages from my heart to your heart always. Okay, my loves? So, Pisces, let's see what message or messages we have for you. So Pisces, this is for you. We have the justice card, fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. This is about karma too, okay? You have to do what's right. We get back what we give out, okay? So just do the right thing. Set out with integrity and you will win. You got the two of earth, you're feeling a little off balance. You got a lot of things going on here. You might be feeling a little off balance financially. I'm not sure if this justice card, what it signifies for you, but you do need to stand up for your beliefs and do the right thing. Okay, babies, um, you might be feeling a little off balance. Now, I don't know if it's anything legal. I don't read anything legal. Okay, but that could be what's making you feel a little off balance. I'm not sure. We got the sun here. You're going to have a happy outcome, it says. Okay. You got the sun. That's happiness. And remember, this is for entertainment purposes and entertainment purposes only. We got the ace of water. Love in the past. Love in the past. Oh, or maybe you just met someone not too long ago. We got the ace of water. You'll tell me in the comments which one it is. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship. Not too long ago. Tell me. We got the eight of air, the lack of confidence, lack of self-confidence, afraid to take action. Feel like you got yourself trapped in something and you can't get out of it. I'm here to tell you, you can get out of anything. Trust and believe. You got the emperor. You're very organized. You're very logical. Or this could be an Aries in your environment. Or this could be an energy that someone you can talk to, you know. <laughs> someone you can talk to, you can tell things to. The eight of air, you're in a situation that you feel you're a little tied up in. It might have something to do with an Aries. The emperor. Or it could be that you're feeling very organized and logic logical. You're very disciplined, stable, structured, giving good advice. Or maybe this is an energy in your envi environment that gives good advice. I'm not sure. But there is the emperor. Not sure. We got the nine of earth. Whatever brought you happiness? Oh, Ooh, it was money. The nine of earth. Spending. Ooh. Successful time for you. Give me one second. Let me get Benjamin. Okay. 
On top of the nine of earth, we have the star card. Keep your eye on the prize. Don't you give up. Happy times. You are on the right path. You got the page of air. You're going to receive some challenging information. You're going to have some delays or changes to your plans, okay? And somebody might be telling you something that they're going to tell you they're going to be kind of mean about it. It's going to be something you don't want to hear. You're going to be upset that you heard it, but it's going to be good that you heard it. You got the page of air. On top of the page of air, we got the four of air. It's time for you to take a rest or a vacation and allow more time before making a decision. You might need to take a rest, take a break. You're working too hard. You had a lot going on here. You got something, something that's got you a little off balance here. But it seems like it'll straighten out. Well, on top of the four air, we got the eight of, eight of earth. Your skilled work is rewarded. Whatever it was that you do, whatever you did, you got paid to do. You got the ace of earth. You got an inflow of abundance, a promising new business venture. That promotion, that new job. But you came into some money now. Whatever it was that you came into, it got you. It made you feel like this, like heavy, like a lot of work. Oh my goodness, it feels like a burden, okay? Too much work. You need to accept help from others. Life is out of balance, okay? So now, sometimes when we come into some extra finances or it brings extra responsibilities and them responsibilities can feel pretty heavy. You're like, oh, got this, that, and the other. And just take a breath, okay? Soak your feet. You got the eight of earth, you got the ace of earth, and you got the ten of fire. Oh, what's going on, Pisces? I pulled three more cards. Well, I pulled a one. I was gonna pull one more card just because of the ten of fire. Um, and then I got the release card, the end of a phase or a situation. It's time for you to move on. Got a release the release card. There's gonna be an ending of something and the beginning of something new. Um, you got the nine of air, you're expecting the worst. It's called self-fulfilling prophecy. You're having some sleepless night and you're very fearful right now. You need to release that fear. If you expect the worst, the worst will happen. Okay. You got the five of earth, you got and the reason you're staying up now, you got paid, you got some money, money came in. Or maybe it's now coming in and you haven't seen it as yet. Okay, maybe you just got this job and it's really a lot on you, you know. But you got, you got, you still have this feeling of lack around you like you don't have. I got the five of earth. It's temporary, okay. I got goosebumps right now. It's temporary. It will not last long. It will not last long. You got the release card. You got the nine of air and you got the five of earth. And the unity card, you learned a lot. The four of water. Oh my goodness, Pisces. What's going on with you? <laughs> Some situation you learned a lot from. You got the four of water, missing an opportunity. You need to open your eyes to the possibility. And there's a, the king of air. That's a Gemini. A Libra or an Aquarius. Or maybe you just need to speak your mind with confidence. You got the unity card, whatever it is, you learned something from this situation. Now, I don't know if you, there was money that came in and, you know, I mean, you just got really happy and, you know, you overspent and it's brought you some feelings of lack. I'm not sure. Only you know the situation, babies. Whatever it is, you will overcome, okay? You have to believe in yourself. If you don't believe in you, ain't nobody going to believe in you for you. So you got the unity card, the four of water, and you got the king of air. And then one more card here. You got the lovers. You might need to make a decision where love is concerned, or maybe there's new love on the horizon. You never know. 
Let's see. So you got action and you got the man holding a coin in reverse. Hmm. Because that would have fell. If I turned them over, they would have been in reverse. Card 17. Okay. Action. Action is the accelerant that ignites your desire. But when this card is reversed, you may find that something is missing in your determination or your follow through. Perhaps you've been engaging in more wishful thinking than in consistent effort. Or perhaps you need to make some adjustments in what you're paying attention to. Maybe you're paying attention to the wrong thing, basically. Create a structural plan, then make sure you take daily action. This will move you closer to your goals. Be flexible yet persistent and ever conscious of your ability to act on your own behalf. Affirmation, I am responsible for my life. I take action towards my goals and my own happiness every day. And then we have the man holding a coin in reverse. Card 43. Male connection in money, health or value. Reversed. This card reverse reveals that you could be acting against your own best interests where money or health matters are concerned. You might be spending a bit too much or simply not too conscious enough or not be conscious enough about what's really important to you. If that's the case, become more aware of your choices and priorities and bring more discipline to your life. This card reverse should also be warnings of a self-absorbed or dismissive man who may be out for his own advancement, even at the cost of your own. Be conscious of the critical or demanding men around you and always remember that you alone determine who has the real power in your life. Okay? The affirmation for this card is, I determine my own destiny, I take financial action, uh, and am receiving wonderful assistance from those around me. Did I read the one in action? I can't remember. I think I did. Yes, I think I did. I am responsible, just in case, because I'm not going to rewind. <laughs> I am responsible for my own life. I take action towards my goals and my own happiness every day. I did read that. So you got action and a man holding coin. Man holding a coin in reverse. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves. And we will chat soon.